Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. And if you can't tell by my voice alone, <clears throat> I'm definitely coming down. I, well, no, I'm not coming down. I have come down with a cold. My son came home from school last week with a cold. And over the weekend, I caught his cold. The fun of having an eight-year-old. When, when your son gets a cold, your, your whole entire family gets a cold. So anyway, dealing with this today on top of what else I'm dealing with uh, today as well, which uh, is what we're gonna talk about, is what the uh, the premise of this video is going to be about, the fun of home ownership and uh, the fun of a disaster. I'm getting some stuff fixed. So as you guys know, about uh, what two or three weeks ago, I got a new roof put on the house. So my house did get a new roof put on, very expensive, but it was a, um, a necessary cost, obviously. The, the roof was definitely in need of being repaired. Uh, it, it, we, we had never gotten any any work done on it since we had moved in. We've been here for, uh, I guess, a little over 10 years now, and uh, the roof was already a little old when we moved into the house. So it had gotten to the point where the roof absolutely 100% needed to be replaced and, and re-shingled and all that stuff. There were actually some spots that were kind of bad. No leaks, the, the roof had never leaked, but it was getting to the point where I figured, yeah, I, I gotta get this done before the winter because um, this winter the roof could possibly start leaking. So that was what we did. We ended up getting the roof replaced. It actually looks pretty good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing anyway. We'll we'll discuss that in a minute, but I like I like what I see. The roof, the roof looks okay for the most part so that's that's that um the company we actually hired i'm not going to give any names away because i don't want to i don't want to do that in this video i don't want this to be a, a video of me blasting somebody but the company who we hired to do the roof the reason why we hired them is because like four people on our block had actually used them to get new siding put on their house new gutters put on their house and new new shingles put on their houses in fact some of these people have actually used them multiple times so we thought well all right these four people on our block have used them they've all had good things to say about them about them they come highly recommended we're gonna hire them if it's good enough for for our neighbors that's probably good enough for 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 us right i mean they they did a good job in their houses so they must have, they must do a good job on our house not so much so what ended up happening was first was our gutters so we had what was called a gutter gutter well gutter guards they were gutter caps which were these things that came right down off the shingles and then kind of came off the shingles and then curved like that and water would come down off the roof and that would actually follow that curve and go into the gutters. They were really nice. They were they were actually really, really nice. They looked really nice, in my opinion. Uh, the, 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 the guy who owns the company who did our roofs was like, oh, well, they're kind of ugly anyway, right? Because they, they stuck out. I liked them. I liked the fact that they made the roof to look like one big piece and just, it worked. I, I actually liked the aesthetics of the gutter caps. I thought they were really nice. However, when uh, the people came out here to actually do the roof and do the shingling, they destroyed them. They bent them up. They were they were all wavy and dented in. They weren't even put back onto the gutters correctly. So afterwards, it was a mess. I came out here after they were done. I, I, I just immediately noticed that the gutter guards were completely destroyed again, bent, wavy, and not properly put back on. They were like right over, right over here, and this area was actually like literally hanging off the side of the house. It was horrible. They looked they looked like garbage. So immediately called the owner up and said, hey, what the heck happened here? Why are these destroyed? And, you know, you apologize and said, oh, you know, whatever. Basically, they should have just been, A, taken off and done very carefully. And it may, it may have taken longer, but you, like, like they always say, you know, take your time. It might take you longer to do something, but, you know, do take, take the longer time to do something, but do it right. Like, just do it right the first time. Actually, that's the thing. Had they just done all this stuff right the first time, then there wouldn't have been so much issue. So they didn't do it right the first time. They didn't take the gutter caps off. They just kind of bent them up and it was it was horrible. So they destroyed them. We no longer have those on our house, unfortunately. But they did actually replace them with gutter guards, which are these things that they go actually like inside the gutters. You probably can't see them. Maybe you can if I do that. There you go. That was a gutter guard. I had to show up there quickly. So that was that's a gutter guard. It's these kind of like not mesh with these things with holes. I don't know. They look okay. I don't like them as much. I don't like the aesthetics of them as much. And I'm also kind of worried because they lay flat that they're going to collect leaves and who knows what else will it'll collect. That's my issue. The the gutter caps we had, again, they, they were they were sloped with the roof. So any leaves or anything that would lay on them would just roll right off or blow right off or just the water would wash them right off. It was it was just the same the same slope as the roof, which was which was great. My please please um, ignore all the all the work that's going on around here. There's a lot of there's a lot of yard work 
going on right now in my area. So anyway, so those are gone. They replaced it with gutter guards, which I guess are okay, kind of, but they're not what I like. And I have a fear they're going to eventually start collecting leaves and that's gonna be an issue. So that was the first, the first big major issue we had with the roof was they destroyed the gutter guards. However, they were at least nice enough to then come out and fix them. They fixed them with, in my opinion, an inferior product, but they fixed them. So I, I, I don't know. I'm not thrilled. What is that thing? Is that a, that's not a spider, is it? What? Oh no, they're, whatever that is, they're mating. Look at that. There are some spiders there, two daddy long legs, but look at those things. I don't know what kind of bugs those are, but they're they're making some they're making some baby bugs. That's that's what they're doing. Interesting. So anyway, there's lots of spiders in our house right now. So anyway, so that's what they did. New roof, gutter guards completely destroyed, and then they replaced them with, in my opinion, inferior gutter guards. But whatever, that was taken care of. I said whatever. It is what it is. Let's just be done with it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. However, yesterday, oh look, Sean Spike fell down. So yesterday. We actually had another issue. So it's been like about two, three weeks since the house has been done. And we ended up having another issue. So came home yesterday and the wife, as soon as I walked through that door, the wife walked right up and said, you're going to be mad. And when your wife tells you, the first thing you, when, when you see your wife and the first thing she says is, you're going to be mad, you know it's, it's not going to be very good news. And sure enough, it was not good news at all. It was definitely very, very, very bad news. Please mind the mess in our house. We're actually doing some spring, clean, spring cleaning, or no, I'm sorry, fall cleaning. We're getting rid of stuff. So right now it's a disaster in here. But besides that, what ended up happening was, oh God, so, so dark. So what ended up happening was I, we, uh, my wife noticed that up here, nails are actually coming through the ceiling. Look at that. That is insane. So roofing nails, are literally coming through the ceiling of our house. That is not good. We have cathedral ceilings, as you can see, which means they're very, they're very thin. There's no crawl space. There's nothing like that. It's pretty much just our ceiling and the roof above it with a little bit of insulation. That's it. And whatever they did caused them to put these large nails coming through the ceiling of our house. We did not notice it until just yesterday. My wife just, for whatever reason, had to look up here and she's like, what is that? She thought actually the roof was leaking. She thought maybe there was like bubbles or something in the, in the roof. But now it turns out those aren't bubbles. It's not leaking yet, <laughs> yet. Those are, those are nails sticking through the ceiling of the house. Not good. Definitely, definitely not good. Also, the, whatever, the, I don't know what, I don't know what material that is. It's not plaster. It's not, um, it's not your typical like ceiling material. It's some kind of maybe like wood or something like that. As you can see, it's kind of like decorative as well. It's got this like notches in it. There's uh, cobwebs. Uh, there's a little like notch or something like that in it. And it's almost like, te it's, a, it's textured a little bit. Not like popcorn, but it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of this like mesh sort of like texturing. I don't know, it's, it is what it is. So now they have to come out and fix this. I called them, they're gonna come out and apparently fix it. I'm curious to see how they do that due to the fact that this isn't just a, you know, a typical plaster job. It's not like, oh, the plaster got messed up. We're just gonna plaster over top of it, repaint it, and we could go. It's like a wood product. So I don't know how they're gonna fix this. I'm not entirely sure what they're gonna do, but apparently we now have to have that fixed and the entire ceiling repainted. That's what we're doing now. So, so that's fun. So we had to have them come out multiple times to fix things. They fixed our, they, they messed the gutter guards up. They came out. They fixed the gutter guards one time. They fixed the, they fixed the gutter guards one time. Then they had to come back out because they didn't do a very good job with the gutter guards. Basically what they ended up doing was putting the gutter guards back on. The same ones we had, they, like, they, they put them back on and they tried to fix them, but they were still all wavy and bent and disgusting and horrible looking. And I was like, no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. Like, thank you for putting them on properly, but they still look des destroyed because they are completely destroyed. So they, took them off, came, came back out again for a second time, took them off, put new ones back on. They didn't even do that correctly. When, they, when the guy put the new ones back on, they were put on very much incorrectly. Some of them were upside down. They were not straight. Some of them were bent as well. They did a terrible job putting the new gutter guards back on. Had to have them come out another time to redo the gutter guards again. So it was like the, what, we're not, the fourth time or whatever, they're back out to do gutter guards. 
they did that. Everything I thought was squared away at that point, and now this. So we're now having them come back out for like a fifth time, and then probably a sixth time, and who knows how many more times they have to come out. Now we have to have our whole entire ceiling repainted, which I mean, granted, we're not paying for any of this. It's all going to be, you know, under their, it's all their cost because it's their mistake. But the fact that we have to have this done now is kind of insane. It's going to be, it's going to be nuts. And all this is going to happen when I get back from Walt Disney World. I leave for Walt Disney World tonight. Of course, all this had to happen yesterday, the day before I leave for Disney. So when I get back from Walt Disney World, they're going to come out, they're going to come out today, look at it. And then when I get back from Walt Disney World, I'm going to schedule a time to come out. I guess patch things up. I hope, I hope they can do that, patch things up properly and then repaint the entire ceiling to make everything match. So it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have no use of our living room or dining room for who knows how long because everything's gonna be getting painted. It's crazy. I'm not happy. Again, I could put the company on blast, but I'm not gonna do that. I won't, I won't be that guy, but it's tempting. It's tempting because I am not happy. Some of you guys were saying that I should report them to the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> Ooh, I shouldn't come back outside. Now I'm getting off. I'm going to sniffly. Anyway, some of you guys were saying I should report them to the Better Business Bureau. I, maybe we'll, we'll see how that goes. I've never done anything like that before. Possibly. I don't know. I'm just happy uh, or they, they should be happy that I paid them in full um, because had I noticed the, the nails coming through the roof before I paid them, I would not have been paying them. Uh, I, we, when, we, when we first hired them, we paid them half. Basically, here, okay, here's half the money of the cost of the roof to just say, yes, we're definitely getting this done. We're not going to back out of the, back out of the, the work that's being done. And then when it was finished, we paid them the other half. And I paid them after they had fixed the gutters, again, with an inferior, or, um, um, an inferior an inferior product. But so once they had fixed them, I said, okay, fine. Here's the rest of your money. Let's just call it done, whatever. Let's, let's, be, let's be finished with this. And then we noticed the nails. But yeah, had I noticed the nails before I paid them, I would have told them, get out here and fix it. And then they would not have been getting a, they would not have been getting a second check from me. They would have had to come after me. To, they would have had to have sued me to get the rest of their money because I, I would not have paid them. It would have been, it would have been just that simple. I would have said, well, we're done here. I'm no longer using your services and uh, we're no longer talking and uh, you're not getting the rest of your money because uh, I should not have had it been put out of all of it. Like just, it's insane. It should have been like a two day job, but they've been coming out back at you for weeks now, fixing their mistakes. But anyway, it is what it is. I'll keep you guys posted about how this all goes down. If uh, they do start painting the ceilings and whatnot, I'll probably do a video about that at some point. So stay tuned. All right, guys, just wanted to kind of document the craziness that's going on, let you guys know how the roof went. The roof itself looks okay. I think, I think it's okay. It, it concerns me, to be honest. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the roof, only because it, it looks fine. It looks great. No, nothing about the roof looks bad. Like, it looks okay. Aesthetically, it looks great. But my concern is, if they screwed my gutter guards up, if they put holes in my, like, nails in my ceiling, if they did all this stuff, if I had to have them come back out multiple times to fix the gutters, which they did improperly multiple times, did they do a good job with the roof? Like, should I be expecting the roof to be leaking? Like, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned that in a couple of months from now, I'm going to be like, what's that up there on the roof? And it's going to be a, you know, a, a leaky spot or something like that. Or the, it's just, or the, the attic's going to start leaking or something like that because of incompetence. I don't know. I'm going to keep an, I'm going to keep a very close eye on everything now just to make sure that the, the, the roofing, the, the new, the new uh, shingles we got put on were put on properly. Cause I, I kind of question, I kind of question the work now. So hopefully it's, um, hopefully it holds up. But anyway, guys, that's it. So, uh, just wanted to document this, wanted to let you guys know about the craziness that's going on, the insanity of, um, the new roof we got put on our house. I feel like I just paid somebody way too much money to basically destroy our house. That's that was, that was the email I left them yesterday. I, I left the owner an email saying like, at this point, I do feel like I've paid you a lot of money and all I got in return was a destroyed house. That's, that's what happened. But like I said, my neighbors have used them. They apparently have no, had no issues with them. I don't know how that's possible because I don't know how they have had no, not a single issue with them that I know that they told me about anyway. And I've had multiple issues with this company now. So anyway, they left part of our gutter off. One of our, one of our, one of our downspouts. They left, they did, I, I forgot to mention that. They did that too. One of our downspouts, they took part of it, part, the part that kind of goes uh, down a downspout and then like into the actual gutter. They completely left that off. We had to have them come back out and put that back on. They put a new one on for us. Like, how do you just forget to put part of a downspout back onto a gut? Anyway, it is what it is. All right, guys. So um, this is the fun of these videos. This is the fun of What's With Dave today is that sometimes we go out to fun, interesting places, but sometimes it's just about what's going on in my life. And this is what's going on in my, li on my life right now. The craziness of, of home ownership and the craziness of a company who I will never be hiring again because they did not do a very good job with, um, 
with what they were supposed to apparently be good at doing. So, all right, guys, again, I'm going to let you guys go. Let you guys go. So, anyway, um, as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and, of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We can grab yourself What's a Date Today t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good help putting gas in Vanabel so we can come out to fun, interesting places or so I can walk around my house and walk in my house and show you guys the disaster that is nails coming through the ceiling and gutter guards that were destroyed and just the mess. The mess of an incompetent bunch of people who should know what they're doing, but I guess we're in a rush or I have no, I have no idea why why this happens. I have no idea. But anyway, guys, so it is what it is. So like I said, uh, check down below for all the links. Uh, hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow from, ooh, from the road, I guess, right? Yeah, we'll be heading down to Walt Disney World tomorrow. So I will see you from who knows what state tomorrow. All right, see you guys then. Bye.